Holy crap. I'm just like overwhelmed. Kia ora and welcome back to BTS at the AMAs. We're going to be taking a look at Butter. If you want to geek out about vocal technique, then hit that subscribe button. I want to see you around here more often so that I can help you sing like your favorite singers in the comfort of your own home. So let's see what BTS are up to. Oh my god, I'm like so overwhelmed because that was just fucking amazing. In the other performances that I've watched of them, they I, they haven't been singing live with the full dancing and everything. That was 100% live. There was one sentence where I was like, oh, is that a track? But then, no way, Jose. It was honestly, holy shit. Can I just express how fucking hard that is to sing and dance at that level like that? Holy crap. I'm just like overwhelmed. Let's go back to the beginning and stop and start on the way through and I'll make some, some comments on like what's going on. I just felt like jaw drop in that performance. Amazing. <sighs> So the first part of this song, I'm just like full on amazed at how they are so on point. But then again, I have done some research on how much they practice. I mean, like, oh my goodness me, everyone go away and practice because like literally you will never clock up the amount of hours that these guys have put in to their performances ever. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. 
This though is very much in the mid part of their ranges. It's just like they're speaking on pitch smooth like butter. But if you're wanting to get better vocal flow and contact down in that mid to lower part of your range, check out my video here on vocal flow contact, but let's keep on watching. <laughs> All of that dancing, all of that singing, the sidestep, da, 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 da. If it's a bit of a strain for you, um, then make sure that you keep on moving as well because tension travels, right? So if you're clenching your fists or clenching your butt or clenching your abs or anything like that, it's all going to cause some sort of tightening within the neck. So you've got your shoulder rolls, you've got your, your I don't know, I always call it swimming upwards. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll really struggle to find a performance of a live singer where they're actually just standing like stock still. So keep yourself moving. It has to be said that there is a track, you can hear it where he didn't go the, I'll melt your heart into two. There's just a track really, really lightly in the background. And what that's doing is in that case, he didn't want to hit that note. So he just let the track pick it up. There's no shame in that whatsoever. When you're singing higher in the range, the vocal folds thin out and that increase in breath pressure from all of the dancing can actually make it really hard to hit it. Now, fun fact that also happens in musical theater as well. Often the chorus will either have an offstage chorus, which are um, in a vocal booth offstage or underneath the stage, and they're supporting the chorus of dancers that are on stage. <laughs> I know that, you know, the BTS army, you guys know how good these guys are. I am like slowly getting to know them, but they, holy crap, I'm just absolutely gobsmacked at their, I don't like to use the word talented because I think that that takes away from the fact that they put in a lot of hard work to do what they do. Now, talent is actually the natural ability to pick things up quickly. And I think we need to start using this this differentiation of not just saying, ah, they're so good because they're talented. This is hours and hours, thousands and thousands of hours and years of hard work in the studio. And that's what I think pays off. And this is why they're so good. So if you're wanting to get good at your singing, you've got to put in the time, you've got to put in the work. Don't just expect it to like fall from the sky. Let's keep watching the performance though.
Even those like little, little actions and things like that, these tiny dance moves that almost are throwaway. They're so well practiced. You, <laughs> oh, I'm sure you understand if you are learning singing and you're trying to learn something that's particularly difficult for you, how much effort goes into learning something like this and how much you have to practice it so it just becomes second nature no matter what your nerves are doing. But Oh my goodness me, what else should I check and take a little bit? What else should I take a look at from BTS? Because I'm really excited that they're back on the live performance trail. Thank you so much for joining me here today, everyone. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so that we can geek out about vocal technique. I'll see you back here next time. Kaki Diano.